Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review swatch video and mini tutorial on the new Tartlet Toasted Palette. This palette launches on the 15th. I will leave a link down below for you guys, but I want to say thank you so much to Tarte Cosmetics. They did actually send this over, so I did get it prior to the launch date so I could try it out, test it out, review it for you guys. So I'm so excited to be showing this to you. I love warm tone palettes. Y'all know that, and I love doing reviews. So, anyways, a really quick before we get started, if you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. Make sure before you leave, you do not forget to subscribe down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. I post three times a week, so I post on Sundays and Wednesdays, and then mail hauls on Mondays. I did take a vote on Twitter, and I want you guys to kind of let me know down below. I'm thinking about switching my upload days to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so let me know which one you guys like better. And yeah! Without further ado, we are going to hop into the swatches of this palette, and then we will hop in to the tutorial and then the review. This is absolutely gorgeous, so I'm so excited to show it to you guys, and let's get started. Okay, so all the way to the left, you have your first shade. This is called S'more. This is a very, very light shade. It's like basically the color of my skin. That shade would be a really good for setting a transition shade. Beside of it, you have Sunrise. This one has a little bit more yellow color in it, but again, another really great one to set your transition shade. The next one is called Sunset, and this is more of a shimmer shade. It's a really pretty gold color, and it is very shimmery. And then the very last one, you have Crackle, and this is a brown with glitter sparkles in it. Okay, here we have the second row. So the first shade is a peachy shade, it's a little bit darker than the first two shades that we saw at the top row. That color is called Cashmere. You have the color Warmth, which is a really dark, intense orange. Then you have the color Flame, which is just, oh my gosh, a beautiful, like dark, almost burgundy brown shade. I don't even think the camera can do this justice. It is blinding, so beautiful. And then the last color you have is Cozy, and it is just a matte dark brown. You guys, this is amazing. I cannot believe the pigmentation in this row absolutely gorgeous okay this is the last row so all the way to the left you have candle it's a really pretty gold shimmer shade it's like a very light gold though the lightest shimmer in the palette the next shade is called latte and this is a darker transition shade but it's a beautiful brown probably one of my favorite transitions in the palette then you have simmer and that is going to be another dark gold and then you have Fireside, which is a super, super dark matte brown. And that is the last row. Whew, I am looking very ghostly today. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with the palette. I'm just gonna do a quick eye look for you guys. That way you can kind of see how the shadows apply. Okay, so I'm starting with a Smith 232 brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade S'more right here. And I'm just basically going to put this all over the lid. Oh, that is freaking pigmented. Whew. Okay, that is going to be kind of like our base for the look. Ooh. No to go in super light now. Okay, next we are going to take the shade Cashmere, and this is in the second row. It's more of like a peachy color. It reminds me a lot of Makeup Geek Smoothie. I think that's what it's called. Is it called Smoothie? I haven't used that shadow in so long, but it used to be my go-to. Okay, so we are just going to dust this on the lid in the transition area. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. That way you guys can see the actual shades a little bit better. I'm so fair right now that I don't even know if some of these are going to show up. No. Yeah, they are. I hope that you can actually see this on camera. Okay, next we're going to go in with the shade Latte. Latte is this very beautiful brown at the bottom. And we are just going to really concentrate that part in the transition area again. And we're basically just layering at this point. Layering shadows. These are very, very pigmented. They are powdery, but they're like the normal Tarte formula it is powdery, but it's not like a bad powdery. They go on very, very smooth. And they're really even too, which I like. Okay, now that we have that on, I'm just gonna go back in with really no product on the brush at all and just really blend it back out. My eyebrows are looking atrocious because honestly, I don't even know how they're still on. This room was like super hot when I was doing those swatches. I was so wetting. <laughs> okay, so we're not this pale in real life. What do we want to do next? I'm gonna go in with the shade sunrise right here i'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight i didn't dust my brush off so i do have a little bit of powder okay 
Now we are going to continue to get darker with this look. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more latte right here and we are going to build from there. So I'm going in with the shade Warmth, which is that really pretty orange shade. And just going back and forth. Not really putting a whole lot in the inner corner, but really concentrating the most right here on the outer corner. And then again, I always go back in with my first brush with no product and just blend everything. That way everything's kept very smooth and blended. Okay, we're next going in with Cozy. So we're really using like all the shades here. I'm gonna try to keep Cozy a little bit further down than the rest of them. Really concentrate this right here, like where my eye opens and right here in the corner. So just right in this area, right there. That way it kind of fades up into that orange shade. And you can even go back in with a little bit of the orange on like a smaller brush. Just make sure that you don't lose that crease area. It always looks so weird to me whenever I'm doing this and I have no makeup on. Like, please let this turn out good. All right, I wanna use this like flame shade. That shade right here is so pretty. Oh, I don't even have a brush for that. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going in with a MAC 242 brush. There's that shade, oh, a little bit of fallout without Fix Plus. Let me go grab Fix Plus. All right, spraying a little bit of Fix Plus on there. Oh yeah. The only thing about Fix Plus is I feel like sometimes it clumps up eyeshadows if you do a little bit too much, which I definitely did. Oh my gosh, this eyeshadow is so gorgeous. Okay, so that is the color Flame. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Cozy on a smaller brush. And I'm really gonna like pack this on the edge. Just right on the edge there. Again, going back in and blending everything out with that brush. And the last thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of Fireside, which is the darkest brown, and I'm gonna put that right on the edge and smoke it out just a little bit more. Oh, yes. Okay. So this is the eye look after I clean it up. I always think it looks so crazy when I don't have makeup on. So I'm gonna go put on the rest of my face and then I'll come back and we will do underneath the lower lash line and have your finished eye look. Okay guys, so I hopped off camera. I did the rest of my face and I ended up going ahead and doing my lower lash line. So the colors that I use on my lower lash line are Cozy and Flame right here. And I really like how this look turned out. I think it's really pretty, very fall appropriate. I ended up going in with the shade Candle, that shade right there for my brow bone, just to give it a little bit more shimmer. And yeah, I really, really like how it came out. So anyways, as far as my review and thoughts on the palette, of course, we can't really talk about the Tartlet Toasted without talking about the palettes that came out before it. So I have both of the palettes. These palettes I actually did purchase myself. The Tartlet Toasted was actually sent to me from Tarte Cosmetics. So thank you so much. But anyways, here are the two previous palettes. So as you can see, they started off with the first Tartlet palette that had just a plain packaging on it. Everything else looks the exact same. So you still have the like mirrored packaging on the inside. You still have 12 different shades. This was an all matte palette. So the whole entire palette is matte. Then next came the Tartlet in Balloon palette. And this one, they put a little bit more design on the package. It's a little bit more colorful. And then when you open it up, this was the first Tartlet palette that had shimmers. So we have shimmers and mattes in this one. I believe they all retail for 45. I'm assuming that's how much the Tartlet Toasted will be. This one is the more warm tone palette. And I forgot to mention, the reason this looks messed up is because it actually broke when it got to me. So I try to put it back the best that I could and it's still very usable. It just doesn't look the prettiest. So anyways, as far as my overall review of the palette, this one by far is my favorite Tartlet palette. I love it so much. I am so into warm tones. I feel like that's just the trend right now. It's super warm tones for the fall. I mean, even in the summer, people are wearing warm tones. I really like this. I love the size of the Tartlet palettes. I like these. A lot of people compare 
or are comparing this to like the Urban Decay. But I prefer this size better because it's smaller. As you can see, it's just more compact. And I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Now they are pretty powdery, but I don't mind it. They still go on very beautifully. They blend beautifully. They are super pigmented. I love the shimmers. Like, let me just show you guys these like up close. Like here are four of the shades. And then there are four of those swash. I mean, they are gorgeous. You cannot deny how beautiful these shades are. I'm so excited about it. I just, like I said, I think this is my favorite. Not I think. This is my favorite Tarlet palette that has came out. And if you like the Tarlet formula, it is the same exact formula in my opinion. So overall, pros and cons, pros of the palette. So the formula, I really do like the formula. It blends very pretty. You can layer the mattes on top of each other, which is really nice. The shades are pigmented. I like the color selection. As far as the cons of the palette, if you already have 10 warm tone palettes, you may not need this. I know that's like a thing. A lot of brands are coming out with warm tone palettes, but a lot of people already have warm tone palettes. I do think this one is really awesome, like if you're trying to get another one, but of course, if you have a ton of them, it's not necessary to have this one. And then the only other con, the shade Crackle, that to me just isn't a me type of eyeshadow. I don't like the eyeshadows with the glitter specks in them. I will say out of all the ones that I've ever swatched before, even like previous Tarte ones, this one to me is the best as far as the formula. It shows up the best out of any previous one that I've used. So I will say that. And then the only other con is that this packaging gets dirty, like the mirror. As soon as it came in and I had to like fix all of the powder that was on the palette, I was like, oh no, the mirror part's gonna be so ugly, like for the um, tutorial. So it does get kind of dirty. But other than that, those are really the only cons of the palette. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys plan on picking it up. I'll leave a link in the description bar for you if you want to purchase it. I believe it's gonna be sold at Sephora and Tarte.com and possibly Ulta, I'm not 100% sure. Then I'll do back, I'll do back. This, ooh. Pros of the palette. Um, I do like the formula, it, br it bl Okay, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and I will see you in my next one, bye.